We have another graph. Uh, this one, there's nothing with the X. So there's no phase shift, there's no period change, none of that. It just has an amplitude of two. It's negative, so it's reflected, and it's got uh, shifted up one. That's what this one means here. So that's our midline, shifted up one. Since there's nothing changing the period, there's no B to change the period, the period is 2 pi, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units divided by the four quadrants is 2 units per quadrant. It's not shifted left or right at all. Uh, we do need our amplitude drawn in there, so let's do that real quick. Amplitude is 2, so from our midline, it goes up 2. And down 2. There's no phase shift, so the first point that we would graph, since it's a sine, it's going to be in the middle, on the midline. Since it's negative, it goes down first. Since it's negative, it goes down first because it's a negative sign. <clears throat> so, two units uh, for every point. Two units, next point. Two units, next point. Two units, next point. Next. Continue it the whole way. And then draw your curve. So we are also supposed to, according to the directions back here, rewrite it as sine or cosine, the opposite of whatever it started with. So this one is written as a sine. We're going to rewrite it as a cosine. Uh, you get to choose if you want to do a positive cosine or negative cosine. That doesn't really matter. If you write it as a positive cosine, you'd use one of those two points because that's where positive cosine starts at the top. If you rewrite it as a negative cosine, you would use one of these two points that start from the bottom. So I'm going to go with the positive cosine, just because I like that better. The midline does not change, so that one doesn't change. The amplitude does not change, but we also said it's going to be a positive cosine. Amplitude is 2, and it's positive cosine. The rest of it, uh, the B, which there wasn't one, there's nothing in front of the X, it's going to stay that way. But there will be a phase shift on this because it needs to start at one of these two points that I circled up here in green. It either starts at this point on the left, negative pi over 2, or this one over here at 3 pi over 2. Whichever one you choose, that's what you put in here for the shift. So if it shifts to the left, 3 pi over 2, that would be plus positive pi over 2, because it shifted to the left pi over 2. If you did the other one, you would just say it shifted to the right 3 pi over 2, so that would just look identical except for x minus 3 pi over 2. You could have done it with negative cosines. You would just choose these two red points instead. Everything else would stay the same, so it would be 1 minus 2 cosine. X would still be X. The only thing that would change would be the point that we put in there. If you chose this point, that's negative 3 pi over 2, so that's going to be plus 3 pi over 2. If you choose this point, that's to the right pi over 2, so that's going to be minus pi over 2. Everything else would stay the same for those two. So you can rewrite 
all the equations that way. You just have to pick the new point, shift it over.